G'day Adam, VK4GHZ. Now, do you have a Trimble Thunderbolt GPSDO that keeps telling you it's minus 55 degrees? Yeah, you got the same fault I have. Don't worry, it's very easy to fix. I'm gonna show you how to fix yours, so stick around. There's various Trimble Thunderbolt displays out there on the market. This is the one I made uh, between 2011 and 2013. You can see the minus 55 degrees there. And it was also visible in Trimble's Thunderbolt monitor program. So the IC responsible for sensing temperature is a DS1620. And if you're wondering where the minus 55 degrees comes from, that's its lowest limit. Like a lot of semiconductors, they come in various packages. The one we need is an 8-pin SOIC package and that part number is a DS1620S. So make sure you order the S variant. To open up your Trimble Thunderbolt, you'll need to remove two screws here. There's also two screws on either side. As you can see, two of the screws are hiding underneath stickers if they haven't already been revealed. There's also two screws on the DB9 connector you might have there. I've removed mine. So once we've uh, taken the screws out, we can Pull the case apart and the DS1620 chip U9 is located here. I bought a replacement off eBay, actually got two of them pretty much for the, uh, the price of one. It's about $16 Australian, just take static precautions. I find the easiest way to remove SOICs and if I don't care about the package itself, um, I'd, I'd rather not do any damage to PCB tracks. So using uh, cutters, I just cut off the legs like this. Cutters could have been a little bit finer. So cut the legs off using tweezers. Just remove the package. So now you're just left with eight separate pins which you can just remove individually, which is a whole lot easier than trying to desolder eight pins at once. So just uh, one pin at a time. There we go, we've got all eight pins removed. It's time to fit the replacement. So what I'll do now, I'll just uh, tack two pins down, opposing sides. Uh, camera placement 101, it was a bit awkward to place the camera where it should have been and uh, actually do the work. So you'll have to excuse that. So I've got one corner down, I'll do the opposite corner. I will tack that down. Just pressing down on the package, make sure it's flat on the board. This PCB actually sucks quite a bit of heat out of the iron. Um, it's most likely a four layer board. So the first two pins have been soldered down. I'm happy with the alignment. Just checking it in the Maggie lamp. Handy piece of equipment in the shack. It's the Maggie lamp. So once we're happy with the alignment, we'll just continue to solder the six other pins. The SOIC 8 pin pitch is pretty easy to work with. And again, check your work under the Maggie lamp. Okay, so I've reassembled it. I've just got the basics. I've got power, the GPS antenna, and the RS-232 data coming out for the display. And the power supply on. This is the uh, version 2.3 firmware, which I released a few months ago, just to fix that date bug. Oops. Version 3 firmware in the Thunderbolt. And there you go, 31.7 degrees. It's actually quite a warm summer's day here in Brisbane, Australia. Just going to use a non-contact infrared thermometer to check this. Just pointing that at the uh, Trimble's uh, enclosure, 31.4. It's a close match. Just bear in mind, inside the Trimble, you've got the oven from the um, OCXO, so that's constantly getting warmer. Pointing that again, 31.9 that agreed with it at that particular point of time. 
So if you're getting erroneous temperature readings from your Trimble Thunderbolt, as you can see, it's pretty easy to replace that DS1620 chip. Access inside the Thunderbolt's pretty good, and it's a fairly easy part to work with. So uh, recommend you give it a go. Thanks for watching.